Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, Microsoft rolled out Edge version 132, which is the latest release. And just to let you know that Edge version 133 has now made its way into the beta channel, which is in the Edge Insider program. And I'll leave Edge 132's video linked down below and in the end screen. But my reason for mentioning 133 that's now in beta is, according to the release notes, it now includes a new scareware blocker. Now this is actually a feature I've been waiting for in my region in Edge Canary, which is a very early preview version for at least the last month or two. And hasn't seemed to have made its way into my region in that very early preview, but I thought it was significant enough to make a video although I can't actually show you the actual feature. Now, as you may well know, online scams are on the rise and on the increase. And this new scareware blocker is Microsoft's attempt to try and combat um, those online scams. And just a bit of a recap here. Um, in case you were unaware what scareware is and what it's all about, Scareware apparently is a type of malware that tricks you into downloading malicious software or visiting dangerous websites. And it uses apparently social engineering to create a sense of urgency and fear, scaremongering as some would call it, which can lead you to make rash decisions. So as an example, Scareware can appear as a pop-up on a user's computer or in spam emails. So that's more or less what Scareware is all about. Now, according to the release notes for Edge version 133, which is our next stable release, and that should be rolling out over the next three weeks or so, according to um, Microsoft, Scareware Blocker is apparently your AI-powered shield designed to protect you from Scareware attacks. Now, that's Microsoft's official phrasing for the actual feature, your AI-powered shield, and they mention that once enabled, and by the way, when it does roll out to the stable version, in version 133, if we head to our settings, privacy search and services, it'll be on this page under security. So it'll be in this area here called scareware blocker, and it'll be a toggle that you can turn on and off, thankfully. So once enabled, scareware blocker, Microsoft says, uses machine learning to identify and block these scams, which they say will keep you safe as you browse the web. But just take note, as mentioned, it is opt-in. So at this stage, it's hard to say if it'll be turned on by default or not. But the good news is if you don't want to use it, you can turn it off, it'll be in this section. And um, when it does roll out to this table, obviously, um, if I get wind of that, I'll try and keep you guys in the loop and maybe show you in real time how the feature will actually work. But nonetheless, I thought it was important just to let you guys know that in our next version upgrade 133, rolling out in a couple of weeks' time, uh, Microsoft is going to include a new scareware blocker. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.